Welcome to this new episode of our How It's Made series. This time we have a look at the fairly new Italian bread, Leonardo Officina Italiana. Most of the manufacturing steps are done in-house, which you will see in this video. Leonardo Officina Italiana was founded in 2017 by the Matrona family. Ciro Matrono was one of the co-founders of the Delta Pen Company, which unfortunately closed its doors a few years ago. With over 45 years of experience, he is very important in the production process. His son, Salvatore Matrona, has a history in designing and is the creative mind of the company, while his sister, Maria Francesca, is responsible for the marketing, sales and communication. The Leonardo pens are well known for their colorful materials. The blanks that will eventually become the writing instruments are stored in this room inside the Leonardo factory. This Wahala for pen lovers contains rods of all materials that Leonardo is using, like celluloid and resin. Sometimes the material arrives in sheets, which then have to be cut first. This creates long rectangular bars which are then rounded, so they can be worked on by Leonardo's machinery. The rods are carefully selected by color by the Leonardo staff before they are used in the production process. The first step is to remove the excess material to make sure the rod has the correct diameter to make a cap or barrel. The rod is turning at high speed, while a sharp knife cuts away the upper layer. Once the rod has the correct diameter, the hole is made using this large drill. The rod is still turning and the drill is pushed slowly through the material. Due to the cutting and drilling, the material feels very rough. With a piece of sandpaper, the worst roughness is removed. The piece of material is then cut from the rod. And here we have the first step of a new Leonardo cap. The process is done piece by piece and step by step in the old school way of pen manufacturing. For each and every cutting process, a different drill or knife is used. The slim parts are used for the inside of the cylinders, while the larger tools are shaping the outside. All these tools are specially made for the Leonardo writing instruments. This particular tool, for example, creates a characteristic pointed dome on the Momento Zero caps. This way, the angle is exactly the same on each and every pen. Once the material is cut in the right shape, it is polished. This is done by spinning the brush and turning the pen parts at the same time. That way, an even perfectly shiny surface is achieved. The wheel turns four times in total for the best result. For polishing the resin parts, a blue polishing compound is added to the polishing cloth. For celluloid or other materials, different compounds are used. The polishing is inspected to make sure the results are spotless, because only the best craftsmanship will do at Leonardo. The Leonardo nibs are made by Bock and Jogo, the two main nib factories in the world. The nibs arrive in Naples completely plain and unpolished. Once they come in, the nibs are polished for a shiny surface. After that, the engraving on the nip is done in the facility where Leonardo has its factory. This laser engraving causes some inevitance on the nip, which is why the nip has to be cleaned and polished again. The polishing removes all sharp edges and any dirt from the nip. This step is done by hand to obtain the best result. The cleaning is done with the help of this nip holder. It is made from recycled brass that was left over from the production of the clips. This holder goes into an ultrasonic bath to remove all the micro dirt. The feeds that Leonardo uses are made out of ebonite rods, because ebonite feeds are better for ink flow compared to plastic feeds. Just like the resin and celluloid parts, the ebonite feeds are also turned and cut in-house by the skilled craftsmen of Leonardo. The pen clips are cut out from a large sheet of brass. The sheet is first cut in multiple strips and after that the form of the clip is cut out. As you can see here, Leonardo can get quite a lot of clips out of such a sheet. 
this massive machine is more than 15 years old and is used to shape the clip. The brass piece is put into the mold and then given its characteristic shape. The famous wheel on the clip is attached with high precision. For this step in production a lot of patience is required. Once the small wheel is put in the right position, the two tines of the clip are pressed together to keep it in place. The finished clips are then plated by one of Leonardo's specialized neighbors in the Automata Jewelry Center. The cap rings are pressed into the resin or celluloid of the cap. This way, no glue is necessary, as the materials are connected in a natural way. The Leonardo pens are put together the way Ciro Matrone has designed them. Ciro creates his original designs on paper and his drawings are then transferred into the computer. All the individual parts made in-house or by suppliers are stored here for the assembly. A writing instrument is a complex structure of multiple parts. This means that even if only one small ring or screw is missing, the pen cannot be assembled. Here we see how a Momento Zero Grande, a piston found pen, is put together. It starts with the clip being attached to the cap. This is an important step because it also determines the position of the barrel. After that, the ring and barrel are attached to the grip section to become one solid part. Note that the different resin parts are selected to match each other based on the motive in the material. As you can see, the famous barrel engraving, where the name of the company and the edition number is engraved, is precisely aligned with the clip. The next step is to put the piston mechanism together and attach it to the barrel. The mechanism screws into the barrel for a strong and reliable attachment. The piston knob is screwed to the end of the piston. The base of the pen is now finished. Only the nib and ebonite feet have to be added. Before the nib is inserted, the inside of the nib holder is checked for dirt and the correct diameter. Then the nib and ebonite feet are precisely put together and placed into the nib holder. The screwing system and the posting of the cap are checked one last time before the pen undergoes a final inspection. Details are very important to Leonardo. Even the standard international converters that are supplied with the non-piston fountain pens are covered with a metal cover with the name of Leonardo engraved on it. This means that when you remove the blind cap, you see a metal knob, greater than a cheap black plastic. Small details like this gives that extra luxury feeling that you expect from a premium Leonardo fountain pen. As a final inspection, the pens are manually tested one by one by both a staff member of Leonardo as well as Salvatore Matrone himself. Believe it or not, not a single pen leaves the factory until Salvatore has approved it. The mix between the original Delta way of pen manufacturing and the new and fresh colorful variations on classic models are the key to the success of Leonardo. The passion for writing that the Matrona family has is truly unique. Also, a family business where brother, sister and father are working together to achieve the best result are very rare, especially in the pen creating industry. When you own a Leonardo pen, it is not just a writing tool, it is a piece of their soul, a piece of love made in Naples.